no need to feel blue. I said, hey now, car insurance is due. You could save yourself a fortune. Confuse.com. Compare insurance at Confuse.com. Saving money at Confuse.com. Confuse.com. Well, next on NTV with some strong language, we're kicking off the final week of the Park Drive drama. Interesting stuff to go down. Wash in here, wash in there, wash in everywhere. Sorry. Ah, Derek, come into the kitchen. Have you seen that bloody dog? Right, uh, well, no, I ain't right. Come on, give me your phone. There you go. Right, I'm turning it off. From now on, for this whole entire week, it's just going to be us two. I can't be doing with folk knocking, and I can't be doing with having to go and bail people out. I can't be bothered with other people's arguments. I just want me, you, and the week to ourselves. All right, okay. So I'm going to go and do some shopping later, and we're going to have a nice meal tonight, and then we're going to go get up early in the morning. Yes, early, no lies in, and we're going to go on a nice day out. And then I was thinking we can go out for a meal. It ain't often we do. All uh, right, okay, we could have gone away. Well, I if know. You stay at home, if you want to stay at home, we'll stay at home. Well, I mean, if, if you're whisking me into a and b for a night. Well, we'll see. We'll see what I can do. And if you're wondering what's brought this all on, it's all the power of love. And I'm not getting any younger. I'm getting closer to my grave. So I just want to do we're nice not all things. Any younger, no, we're not. Well, no, we're not. But and you know, we always seem to weigh, you know, Sean's issues and what Martin's. Oh. I don't even want to speak to Martin this week. I just want it to be me and you. That's not too hard to, to, to go by, is it, Derek, love? No. A, a bit of love from me husband? Yeah. Kiss? Come here, then. There we go. That's nice. Now, you go and make yourself look beautiful, and I'll finish the washing up. And that's Leaders, not me leaders. saying that you don't look beautiful already, but... A bit of touching up, don't go on, miss. Get rid of some of the wrinkles. Hey, ain't no touching up, because you know what happens. Well, that's true. <laughs> washing here, washing there, washing everywhere. Oh, bummer, I broke a plate. Oh, well. Plenty more. To the holy light. To the holy light. Are you up there? Oh, hello, there, um, Tony, uh, thank you for, uh, calling by, uh, I said you'd, uh, catch me at the church, yes, it's, uh, it's about the pipe under the sink again, it, uh, appears to be leaking again, right, that's no fucking bother, right, uh, I'll have to come and have a look at it, well, yes, uh, 
Yes, uh, I should be around this afternoon for you to uh, take a look and uh, see what you think. I personally think it's uh, something bigger than what it was last time. Right, well when did she start leaking like? Uh, I think it was on a uh, Saturday night. I was uh, watching the um, the the the, uh, the Got Talent show, and uh, well, I just uh, thought I could hear dripping, so I looked out the window and I thought, oh gosh, it's not raining. So uh, then I I checked that I hadn't left a shower on because I'd recently had a had a shower earlier that day. Go upstairs and no, I, I haven't had a haven't had a um a shower, so. I thought it you it must be nothing, so I sit back down, carry on watching the telly and and then I just uh, start seeing a drip coming from this cupboard. So I, I I go over to the cupboard, open it and well it's like Niagara Falls in there when I open it, water dripping out, and then I just see a great big hole in the pipe and well I didn't know what else to do, so I put some towels down and I need you to come and fix it. I've not used the sink since. Hey, right, well, it's best not to use the sink, you know, once the pipes leak like. But, uh, yeah, I think the case is it's going to be new piping. Because last time I just uh, put some special filler stuff in where it had the old before. But I'm going to have to go a little bit further into your pipe work. And we're just going to have to see where it goes from there. Like, uh, it's going to be quite a biggish job. Well, I mean, I need to wash my plate, so wh whatever the bill is, I'm afraid I'll have to settle it. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I should be in uh, later this afternoon. Just got a few things to do here at the church. Hey, well, I've got to say, it's looking a really nice church, like, since you've had all refurbishments done and that, like. Oh, well, you know, tried to make it look a bit better. I mean, it was getting a bit run down, was the other church, and... Harrison never really did that many good repairs, as uh, uh, as you know they say. Right, how is Harrison lately? Not seen him around of a while. I th well, I think he's, uh, you know, gone somewhere w with Jamie or something. Uh, some business meetings for SBSC, but uh, he's always doing one thing or another now, you know. Right, right. well, I'm going to get going because I'm halfway through fitting a boiler late. But I just thought I'd come and see what was what, see when I can get into your gaff. Aye, well, this afternoon, round from 2pm-ish. Aye, see you late. Toodaloo. Hmm, doors open like... Ah, uh, Sean. Yep. Yeah. What are you doing in there, Dad, like... I just bought this one. I didn't know you were planning on moving in. Yeah, man. What's this? this? Is I want to move. All part of your big adventure to try and get me back on side, like. No, not really. I thought this was your next move to get us back friends again. No, but I might have. A, I've got a surprise for you in a bit. A surprise for me, like. Yep. <laughs> What's this? The first time you've ever bought me a present, like? No, no, no. It's a bit better than that. <laughs> All what? right. Just but... swim by later. Dad, mate, you're worrying me now. You never have surprises. Listen. I'll swing by by around about five o'clock. Dad, mate, I didn't say I weren't going to swing by. I'm just saying your surprises. Listen, it's worth it. But listen, look, mate. I, I just want to say something. What? I know, we, I know we've had some stuff in the past. We, we've not got on and you, you did a lot of time in prison. Aye. But I just want to say that I really think you're turning yourself around. Listen... Be here for five o'clock, okay? Five o'clock, not a minute late. Not a minute late, no. Be here for five. All right, mate. You're on. I'll see you in a bit, kid. I guess I'll see you then. Okay, in a bit. Peace.
Where's my phone? Get my phone out. Fucking garden's massive, man. Yo, Nathan. Yo, what's happening? Like, here, yeah, the weirdest thing's just happened. I've just gone by that house, you know, next to Noreen's cafe. You never guess what, my dad's moving in. He says he's got a surprise for me later on. And I've got a strange feeling that I know what it is. I think he's got a room in there for me. I think he's given me somewhere to live. Well, I mean, come on, I know he's done some bad stuff in the past, but right now I'd give out to get out of that B&B &B and doss somewhere in a nice room. And let's be honest, stuff he's done in the past, I can blag him to cook me a lot of meals and that. Anyway, I'm going to get going, but I've got to meet him at five tonight, so I might just bring a few spare sets of clothes just in case he pops the question, you know, will you move in with me and all that. Do you think I should get some alcohol or something? I was thinking just a few bottles of beer or something, you know. Alright, well, I'm going to get going. I'll see you later then. So then, Derek, love, how are you enjoying a bit of TV with your perfect wife? You know, I'm loving every minute of it. Oh, well, I'm glad you are. <laughs> Aye, well... Better than being out there. It's nice and cosy, just sat with my little yellow wife. Well, it's nice and cosy sat with my big fat yellow husband. <laughs> and I mean that in the nicest way. I tell you what I don't understand. Why someone like them would want to go on Jeremy Kyle. I know. Look at him, he's got no teeth. Well, I know, but I mean, how they could go on telly and express all, all the argument issues. I know. It's better to keep it at home, I think. 100%. What can I say? Sorry. Yes, Derek, love. I don't like this wallpaper. Aye, well, don't you be decorating this week. No, it looks too silly. It looks like shells or jellyfish. I know, or... but all I'm saying is, is don't decorate this weekend. No. I'm not doing it yet. Hey, I was just thinking earlier and all. What? Just over a year since the true talent came out of you. I was just thinking of no, Noreen. What, what, what's that? I might put this place off for sale. Oh, no, no. Well, why would you do that smaller place? It's small. Yeah, it's too big for me and you. Well, I mean, if we had a smaller place, you wouldn't have to be decorated every two weeks. No, that's true. That's true. But going back to what I was saying, it's just over a year since we discovered your talent. Yeah. Remember when you sang to me? And then asked me to marry you. True. What was it what you sang? <coughs> Maybe I didn't love you. That's the one. Oh, aye. Oh, I oh what, what was the original? What, what was the original? Was it by the grocery shop boys? No, pet shop boys. Oh, aye, that was it, pet shop But I thought it was grocery shop boys. Anyway. No, oh. you're not it. Hey, we should go into town and buy that on vinyl. You know, the original. Aye. What, and play it? Yeah, why not? And play it. I tell you what, yeah. I think in about 15 minutes a bus comes. Let's get our coats on. Alright then. Let's wander off. Come on, Nora, you know it with that bloody... Oh. Now standing at platform two is the 11.30 service to Kelton Village, Ooh. calling at Sandstone Bay, Kingston City, Woodpecker Bay and Kelton Village. I'm nearly done, oh, Derek, Lauren. love. Come on, Noreen. 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 I'm just in Come a on. queue. 
No, guess what? I'm sure I've just seen somebody. Oh. Marcus. No, why would he come back? He made his feelings clear know. last time he was here. Did he? Well, it must be me saying things then. I think so. Have you chosen a chockey bar? Yeah, I've got a banana. I mean a banty. Get me a chocolate chip mint. Okay, got one. Did you pick up your pencil case? Mum, there's no hot water again. Oh, great. The boiler's on the blink again. Can't afford to get it fixed until payday. What am I going to do? Quick, quick, think. OK, you'll have to smell today, but I'll get someone out later to look at it. Restore some order with a short-term loan from Quickquid. Find out more at quickquid.co.uk. 100% Clubland Extreme! Harder, faster, louder! The biggest Clubland anthems! One Extreme album! This is 100% Clubland Extreme! So what do you see? Well, as I told you, no like I see a lot of peeps. Hey, oh, hey, hey, here's the all. I see the all, the all. Hey, see what I did there, vicar? You being a vicar, church, all, the all. You get it? Yes, we get it. Just fix the leak, please. Well, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to get you some peeps in. Oh. I thought you might be able to repair that one in the end. No, I said to you in the church this morning, like, that it's probably going to be you peeping, like. Let me just go into another room and see what wonger I've got. Yes, I've got some. I'm coming back through. Just a second. Hey, it's all right, Lee. Right. So, uh, how much are we going to call it? Right, if you give us 35 now for call out. It's coming dark. I think it's off to come a shower, late. Well, a bit of rain won't bother us. Hey, you'll have to run in between the drops. Hey, I'm good at doing that, late. So, yeah, 35 for the call out now, thanks. And we'll sort out the price when I know the price of the pipe. And you see, it varies depending how much you want. And depending if you if you want if you bother the boot color, like, cause and get the color that you've already got under there, you know, so it matches, late. But that's gonna cost more. If I get just the normal silver pipe in without yours, which is painted white, it's going to be cheaper. But it's up to you in terms of what you want to do. Well, I, I mean, I know I won't look under the sink, but it'd look a bit odd having an odd coloured pipe. Pipe? Uh, yeah, so I'll pay more and have it, have it the same colour, please. Yes, yes, I, I think that's going to be the thing to do. Right, like, well, I'll be going down to the suppliers tomorrow. And I'll maybe try and get here later tomorrow, like, but I can promise you. But all I can say is, is I'll try and get to you, like. I think it's off the foot in rain, I'll tell you that, though, like. As you say, I'll run between drops. 
Yes, well, I'll see you tomorrow then. Toodaloo. Now, do I get the Budweiser's or the Stella? Like, Stella's cheaper, but Budweiser tastes nicer. Or uh, you could... Sean? Jesus! Yo. It's Derek here. Marcus? What are you doing back, like? Yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I'm, I'm back. Um... Well, I can is see Derek that, here? like. Do you know where he is? No, D Derek's not in here, like. I I if you want him, oh. I suppose he'll be at his house, like. Right, I'll, I'll stay away. Because... <laughs> what? Basically, we've got we've got the surprise for him. Uh, I haven't told I haven't told him. I've told Noreen. Um, All right, like just don't tell him anything. Hmm. Well, I don't really see Derek that much nowadays. Oh, why? Well, uh, since Noreen retired and sold up the cafe, and they spend more time together, like. Oh. And to be honest, some stuff went down, and I, I'm not always, let's say, as, as in their good books as I used to be. Yeah. But I'm not going to go into detail, mate. But all I can say yeah. is, is uh, you know, he's probably mainly at his house. But uh, So what's the surprise for anyway? Um, The surprise of me arriving. All right. Well, I didn't you I... didn't you leave on bad terms, like? Yeah, but I feel like it's, it's better to get back in and... Ah! Know. That's it, mate! I remember exactly why you left. You had a paddy because you were at one of the Johnsons and you stormed out. Mm hmm Yeah, that's that's what happened. Uh, so, uh, have I you calmed have... down now? Are you still sulking? No, I, I regret what I did. I don't... I didn't want to do that. I just, oh, I was in the oh, moment. I oh, fa fair enough. Said. Like, well, I mean, it, it must have been hard, like, finding out you weren't a Johnson, like... It was, definitely. So, uh, I hope you don't... I'm sorry if I sound nosy, but what you been up to, like, since you left? Um, I've actually... Uh, I don't know if you knew, but I started quite a, a job just before I left. Did you hear about I, that? Well, I was in that big building or something, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, I actually got a promotion, and I am the manager. Mate, well, I tell you what, mate. I'm uh, going round to me uh, me dad's tonight. Believe it or not, I think he's going to ask oh. me to move in, and we're out, I'm going to have a few beers, so I, I'll have one for you. You know, just w well done, you. Congratulations, oh. celebrations. Thanks. Well Thank done, you. you. It, it just shows, Marcus, mate, that if you really graft at something, you can get what you achieve. Like, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying, like. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, mate, I wish I'd stuck more at building. Oof. But then when stuff Why, went down... Have you not gotten that far into it? No, well, it's not that. It's You see, the thing is, like, I let... I, like... You see, the thing is, I was doing a college course, you know, for building and mm -hmm. all that stuff, and I had an argument with a teacher... So I quit the course and I went on this building agency and that was like work when they rang you and they want you, you're up and down the country. They ran me up and down here and then obviously we came here to fix the cafe after it, uh, the Noreen's house, you know, when it burnt. And right. I got a job with Paul, but it wasn't really anything still, you know, like we ended up not doing that much work in the end. And I just think if I'd sticked at the college course, like I could have gone on to something a bit better. Yeah. And then I maybe oh. wouldn't have made some of the mistakes that I made, but anyway, I'm going to get going, so... Uh, anyway, All nice right. nice to see you again. Yeah, yeah, nice to see you too. Hold on, just one thing. Do not tell Derek. Mate, you do. I'll tell you one thing now, mate. My lips are as sealed. Okay, right. My Good. lips are as sealed as a lady's pussy before I've stretched it open to stick my dick in. Alright, okay, thanks. Right, I'll oh. see you later, like. See ya. Oh, Go I on, didn't Lord. expect it to rain. I know, stupid weather. Oh, jeez. Where's that record? Uh, here. Right, let's have a look at it. 
Alright, so side A is the original version and side B is the instrumental version. Right, try yeah. side B. There we go. There we go. Hey, Lucy. Wait, what was that? Turn around. Hang on a sec. Clear dust off. Player, I mean. Go on, blow it. Uh, blow it. Uh, uh, That's it. Alright, let's try now. Yeah! Oh, I did. This is the one. Still got it, lot. Oh, I. I see. Go on, then. Take it away. You ready, Nari? I'm ready when you are, Derek Love. Baby, I just love you. What a top ten, as I should have. Baby, I didn't treat you. What a top ten, as I should have. Maybe I feel second best. But I don't know if I do. Oh, you Derek, love, you've mind. still got it in the touch. Pick up a bitch and I'll give you 69. Oh, oh now you you're making a parody there. Yeah. <laughs> well, I tell you what, let 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 me go for something for you. Oh, then. I never thought I would said it that my love of my life would be Derek. One day in the cafe, a big yellow guy came and made me happy. <laughs> He came and made my life feel warm and lit up He came just when I needed someone to cheer me up When I was feeling yes, down Marie. in the dumps Derek came in and got rid of my grumps I was always on your mind I Oh you Derek was always time. on my mind Derek was always on my mind. Hey, my Nori. Derek John I go on love. Where's that bloody dog? I don't know. Probably somewhere near back door a garden or something. Go and see him. I'm good. So mate. What you want yeah. me here for? Well, I've got a surprise for you. Look, we can't be too risky or Sean will find out I'm his mum. Look, look, this is where we're going to have to end it here. He's going to find what? that anyway. I He's know, but find that. I'm doing things with Postman now. Yeah, we know this, but Sean really needs to know who his mum is. Look, this is because you said you'd find her for him. Yeah, and now I've found you, and now we're going to prove it. So when's he coming? At five o'clock. Oh, it's about five now. Ah, here's the door, look. Let me just go down for this. Yo, oh, Dad, Sean, mate, uh, I, I brought a few look. beers and that. Yeah, come in then. And just a, a spare change of clothes in case I spill a bit. Oh, oh hello. Leon, what are you doing here, like? I just, uh, sure. I came to, I came to see. Sure. Oh, mate, this is you, this is a surprise, isn't it? Don't tell me you you two got it on. No. no. Look, it's a I know bit you. More to it, Sean. Look, I know you like Leanne's with me old with me mum being called Leanne and that, but. Mate, there's other girls out there, you know, Dad. There's Susie's, there's Sarah's, there's Emma's, there's Gemma's, there's Jennifer's, there's yeah, Lopez's. Yeah, 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 stop, 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 stop. Look, Dad, mate, I brought some clothes. You don't have to do it. I know, the surprise. All right, you want me no, to move Sean. in? Pardon? You want me to move in? That's why you wanted me to come here at five. Look, you've got all the sofas out. 
It's obvious. You've got a spare room. You've got no one to stay in it. And listen, look, look Daddy, so. it's fine. I, I'll, you can I'll stop. Yeah. Listen, just listen to me for one minute. Yeah, all right, like. Yes, you can stay where you like. But Leanne. Yeah. It's not just Leanne. No. I'm not just Leanne. Look, Leanne there's something we've been is... hiding from you. Look, it's best it comes from me. Go for it, Leanne. The thing is, Sean, it's me. I'm your real mum. I'm the, the, the mum who walked out on you. You what, like? You. But you've been walking around the neighbourhood for weeks. Wait. And how long did you know about this, Dad? Well, you know. Only a few weeks myself. <laughs> and when... So what? You didn't, you didn't think to tell me? We had to find the right time. I had conversations with her on the street. I met her outside the cafe Tesco. with the postman. Yeah, that's who she's with now. I see that, but did none of you honestly think to tell him, think that I'd want to know? Like I said, we had to find the right time. Wait, so, wait, wait, wait. So, 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 hang on a minute, like. Let me get this straight. So you, I ask you to find my mum. You find her, and then you don't tell me that you found her. Well, it was a bit complicated. What's complicated about it? She's here in person. I, I yes, am I here, know. you know. I know you're here. But you haven't been, have you? All them years when you walked out, left me with him, beating me, kicking me in day in, day out. But no, it's good enough now for you to sit on this sofa and have a chin wag. Look, I don't feel proud about what I did, but times were bad in the past. Times were bad in the past for you, were they? You have no idea what it was like for me, and neither do you, Dad, when you were pounding me in. Oh, because I wanted to watch Magic Roundabout. Yes, I need some, but we need to and, get these. We need. And this well, was your way of sorting things. Yep. All right. Well, I've got an idea about sorting things. I'm shutting this door, locking it, and we're not leaving till this gets sorted. Right. Okay. Get out of it. Right. I'm locking the door now. Do it. No one. <laughs> Don't look towards the back door, because I'll lock that as well. Look, no one's going to go anywhere. I know no one's going to go anywhere. That's why I'm locking the doors. Oh, Sean, do you have to do this? Yeah, I do have to do this. We are getting to the bottom of this. I am fed up to the backbone of being lied to all my life. Being used as someone's... Being used as Mike Tyson's punch bag. Jeez. I need a lighter for a smoke before long. You're not smoking in here. Who says? Me. You know, it felt like for years that I was burning... Maybe it's time Open you two window. felt what it was like to burn. Open the window. Oh, yeah, let the birds in. Let everyone hear our conversations. Everyone no, hear our family so troubles. Oh, pipe down and get a shave. Says him that does. Look, you can understand why I'm angry. Can you not? Yeah, yeah, Look, yeah, yeah. I totally understand why you're angry, but now we're coming together today. Oh, coming together in ceremony. <laughs> you're trying to make this something good. Look, we thought it was time you realised. I should have realised when you came to the neighbourhood a few weeks ago. It felt awkward. I, I couldn't just come back and, oh, I'm your mum. <laughs> well, it would have been better than this. 
you know, I was really looking forward about coming round here today, Dad. Really thought we were moving on. Turning a new leaf. Beginning, turning a corner and starting to go down the new straight. You know, I thought, oh yeah, you know, I could live with you. We can have a laugh, have a few beers, forget about the past. But you've just been keeping one big lie from me after another. Nah, no one's going nowhere. You're going to feel what I felt for years. Yeah, I, think so. I hope you're ready. Eh, how long have I been in here now? Not even a year. The same four walls. The uncomfy beds. The beds are uncomfy. The sinks don't even give out that good water. I can't take it in here anymore. I'm going to go insane. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down. Get out my face. What's all this? Oh my god! Um, we we have an emergency. A prison, a prison has escaped. Someone. Oh. What happened? Oh, uh, where's he gone? He's escaped. Hussein! Where's the gun? Wait, wait, wait! We need to shoot door! We... I cannot give you gun with you good door open! Where's that gun? Look, look, do still be patient on the gun! I got you out of prison, so you show me a bit of sympathy! I just want the gun! Give me the goddamn gun! Yes, alright, hello, I see, you got to, I give you gun. There, you take gun, gun have full round of bullets. Yeah. And if you don't just get on with what you're doing, one of them will go straight in your skull. Okay, okay, listen, look, we just need to calm down on this situation. Okay, I tell you now that uh, we, we can do this in a more calm and more smoothly way. You don't need to come out guns blazing at me. I believe you want to say shoot someone else. Look, it's not your business what I do with that gun. But all I'm going to tell you is, you'll get the payment for the gun when I'm finished with it. Yes, yes, I, I see what you mean. Uh, you take gun now, but don't mention any word that you see me here today at the, say, uh, 9 p.m. That uh, you got no gun, okay? You got no gun from me. Listen. I'm not gonna say anything, right? Now I'm back on the outside. I can't risk getting put back inside. But what I need this gun for... You see, the thing is, that Sean took Chelsea from me as soon as I went behind bars. And from what I heard through a letter, she moved away. So now I'm never gonna get to see her again. All I'm telling you, Hussein, Sean is gonna pay. Right, well, I, I see, do not know this Sean, okay? I do not have no uh, conversation to Sean. I'm out of here. Bill Woods is back! Is what this is, some crazy guy.
too. I was so afraid till you came and said, you came and saved me. Won't you sing me your sweet lullaby? Just the sound of your voice is the thing. I love acoustic from Ministry of Sound. Most of all, I like the way you move. I like the way you move. Coleman's new instant beef gravy paste, made with proper meat juices for a proper meaty taste.